Breaking news out of Nova Scotia. We know the names of the crew members who were on board the Chief William Solace. That scallop boat went missing yesterday in the Bay of Fundy after sending out an emergency distress signal. Search teams have found the body of one crew member. The search continues today for the five others. And Brett Ruskin is on that story for us. He's from Annapolis, Royal Nova Scotia right now. That's just a short drive from where search and rescue teams are based. Brett, as I said, the breaking news, we got the names of all six men who were on that scallop boat. All six men, Heather, and this is uh, thanks to reporting that we've done that CBC Nova Scotia teams have done down in Yarmouth, speaking to people, speaking to community members, and hearing stories of, of who these men are that served on this boat. And so we know already the captain, that's Charles Roberts, and we have a picture of him as well. He's the captain of this vessel. And then we'll give you the, the five other names. We have Aaron Cogswell, Leonard Gabriel, Dan Forbes, Michael Drake, uh, and Gino, uh, Gino Francis. Now, those last two, Michael Drake is from Newfoundland. Gino Francis is a member of the Acadia First Nation in the Yarmouth area. So those are the six individuals, the five uh, crew members, including the captain that we already knew of. Uh, we've been able to identify them, again, speaking with uh, family members, community members. Uh, they have not been officially identified by uh, uh, you know, officials and, and, and search crews, but we do know that uh, they were on the boat, and those are the folks that are still being searched for at this hour, again, more than 24 hours after that emergency beacon first was activated at around 6 a.m. yesterday. Heather. And, Brett, you've been there on the scene covering the search. What is the latest on the uh, the, the message? the mission to to find those five missing members. Well, yeah, so I mean, it's it's really still seems to be all hands on deck. There were 20 to 30 or so uh, volunteer search and rescue volunteer members who were showing up all morning just, you know, a, a short drive just that way uh, where that command center was that I was there earlier this morning. They are the folks that are going to be walking along that rugged coastline. They had about two to three hours after sunrise before the high tide hit. Again, Bay of Fundy, the highest tides in the world. So they have to really coordinate their search, go out for that, uh, you know, couple of hours that they had wait the six hours or so for the tide to come in, tide to come out. Meanwhile, you have three Coast Guard vessels who are combing the waters off the coastline. You have uh, help from the air as well with the Cormorant helicopter that we've seen as well as the Hercules aircraft too. They are dealing with, again, as you can see, kind of the cloudy, snowy, cold conditions right now. Again, with everyone, uh, you know, hoping that they can find uh, more of uh, you know, indication as to what may have happened to this boat with the latest still being that they found one body of one of the crew members and they're still waiting to, to find and to look for the remaining five people. Heather. Brett, thank you very much. Uh, 